I read this book once, oh, that was ages ago, really, and it was already falling apart. It had a very sweet love story between, of course, when I was very young. It was so silly, too. The vampire glowed in the sun. Whoever came up with that hogwash? You have much skill with a bow and sword? Uh, those are my strengths. I'm more of a mage myself, but I can handle those weapons rather well. More often than not, though, I do like to keep my distance. And if you're charging right at the enemies, that's a pretty good combination right there. I hope so. Good to have you with us. Likewise. You know, I've always been very fond of my mother's garden. Such beauty. Nurtured by a master for centuries. It really showed, didn't it? Sorry. I must have gotten carried away. It's just... My childhood wasn't all bad, you know? There was some good in it, for sure. Really? They used to call Windhelm the City of Kings. In my books, anyway. Going there and seeing it for myself, though, I'm kind of disappointed. Are you alright? I'm fine. I was just thinking about some moment in the past. Do you want to talk about it? Well, just because it's you. I was thinking about the ceremony I had to go through to become a vampire. It was degrading, but I went through with it because it was kind of expected of me at the time. Not a very wholesome family activity. But I guess that's something you do when you give yourself to a Daedric Lord. And, yeah, I've told our friend about this already. Good thing they're okay with it. And they've actually helped me move past it. Though, the feelings and trauma still tend to pop up from time to time. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. I am sorry to hear that, my friend. Well... Thanks for hearing me out. Any time, my friend. Any time. Couldn't have chosen a better day for traveling. Oh? Which one? He's great company. I can tell you that much. Inigo always finds a way to lift our spirits, doesn't he? If there's someone, besides me, to always keep by your side, I think it should be him. How does it feel to be the mighty hero of Skyrim, distinguished for such tasks as being a courier, being a courier, being a courier, and lastly, being a courier? <laughs> what? It's true. Almost everything you've done revolves around that. Go to this place, kill some things, pick something up, and deliver it to someone. I do, actually. You may think it's kind of weird, but I enjoyed playing with the rats by our castle Undercroft. That became my own little hideout for a while, where I'd go to when I just wanted some peace and quiet. It was also near the sea, even when I became a vampire. I still did enjoy the breeze and fresh air. Anything natural and calm, really. Just to get me away from all that was happening at my home with my father. Usually when he was in a bad mood. No. Let's finish our dungeon delve. Then we can have a training session. What is it? What now? I can't do everything for you. Does the air feel... heavy down here? Somehow, it's not helping my confidence at all. That soul smelt of troll's breath and good sweat. Growing up back on the island, I barely left the castle. 
Most of my knowledge from the outside world came from books. However, most of even that is sadly out of date, by at least several centuries. Talk about a fish out of water. That's why I need you to show me around this wonderful land. Be a good guide for this old relic. I read this book once, though that was ages ago, really, and it was already falling apart. It had a very sweet love story between a woman and a vampire. Of course, when I was very young, I had a soft spot for romance. It was so silly, too. The vampire glowed in the sun. Whoever came up with that hogwash 